Hello and welcome to day 10 of the TriHack Me Advent of Cyber 3. I'm your host, Philip Wiley, and today we'll be covering Offensive is the Best Defense on the day two, day 10 challenge. Uh, in this challenge, we have uh, McSkitty is trying to discover how the attackers managed to penetrate the network and cause damage to Best Festival company's infrastructure. She decided to start doing a security assessment of her system to discover how Grinch Enterprises managed to cause the damage. She started by conducting a security assessment of her systems to discover how Grinch Enterprises managed to cause the damage and wonders what service what they exploited. So in this challenge, we're going to be using Nmap, a very popular tool for uh, penetration testers, uh, ethical hackers, bug bounty researchers, even blue teamers. And in this scenario, we're kind of using this in an instant response or a blue team type of situation here. So we're going to do a couple different types of scans. We're going to do a TCP connect scan. So uh, Nmap attempts to complete the three-way TCP handshake in, in order to establish a connection to each port scanned. TCP scan will make will not make a complete connection if the port is open. Technically speaking, Nmap does not complete a TCP three-way handshake. So to better understand these differences, we're going to use the analogy of knocking on a door. The TCP connect scan is like knocking on a door, waiting for someone to open it, greet each other, then excuse yourself to leave. The TCP scan, send scan, resembles knocking. And once someone answers, you pretend that it was not you that knocked and walk away innocently. The latter will make it more difficult for the other party to remember you. So this Nmap is a really good tool to be learning. And aside from the advent of cyber, there's also a lot of other good content on uh, Try Hack Me that can help you learn these tools better and help you learn skills that are helpful for being a pen tester and other cybersecurity roles. So our first scan is going to be our, our uh, PC scan. We're putting in uh, nmap dash lowercase s uppercase t and the target IP address that we're scanning. And we run our scan. That went pretty quick. So how many ports are open between one and 100? So we see that we have two ports open, which is SSH and HTTP. Our web server on the HTTP port 80 and uh, SSH or secure shell on port 22. So what is the smallest port number that is open? So we see we have two ports open, 22 and 80. So 22 is gonna be our smallest port. So what is the service related to the highest port number you found in the first question? So the highest port number we found was port 80. So we're looking for this service and we look into this service column. We have uh, three columns, the port, the state where it's open and the service. So we see that um, we have SSH for port 22 and HTTP for port 80, which is our highest number. And HTTP is going to be what we're going to enter here. So now we're going to run a send scan. Right here, instead of clearing the screen so you can kind of see the difference between the two, because the question is, do we get the same results? And so, yes, we did get the same results. The only thing that's changed a little bit is the latency. So we see the section here, latency, and that's going to vary each time you run a scan. That's going to depend on how busy the network is. And you can run it right after that, and it could be totally different. So did we get the same results? Yes, because we're not looking at latency. We're only looking at the open ports and services and so forth. And we got the same number of open ports. So now if we want to detect the version of the web server, we're going to do a service scan. So we're going to change this last character from an uppercase S to an uppercase V, making this a service scan. As you're going to see from the results, we're going to get more details. We're going to, before we just knew that there was a web server running and an SSH application running. So we see now 
that our SSH server is OpenSSH version 8.2p1 on Ubuntu. And we also see that, that our HTTP server, our web server, is Apache. And this HTTP D, the D stands for daemon. This is kind of the equivalent to what the terminology used in Linux and Unix is D for daemon. So this is the server. So the question is what is the web server, the number of the web server? So we're looking for more than just the number of the web server here. If you look at the answer format, you will see that it's more than just the number of this piece right here. <clears throat> the last part is the number. So we're gonna to need to put in the same thing we the, what we see for this service here, the version. We need to put in the name, Apache, HDD and the full version here. Okay, so we've got that entered. And so this next challenge says here, by checking the vulnerability related to the installed web server, you learn that there are critical vulnerability that allows path traversal and remote code execution. Now you tell McSkitty and that Grinch Enterprises has used this vulnerability. What CV number is the vulnerability that solved the version? So we're going to look at the hint here. If you click on this hyperlink, you can get the details of the vulnerability, but the hint is, is 2.5.50 provided an incomplete fix. So we're going to need to use uh, this, uh, the CVE number, uh, CVE-2021-1.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0
what is the port number that appeared in the results now? So we're going to put this two zero two one two. And that answers that. So what was the name of the program listed on the newly discovered port? And so, you know, when we ran the scan earlier, it just showed unknown. So we need to do, do the service. So we are looking for the, what is this? This is what is the newly discovered port? What is the program? So we're looking at, so it's Telnet. And so it's Linux Telnet D is the answer. And that completes our challenge. So thanks for joining us for day 10, and I hope you enjoy the rest of uh, the advent of Cyber 3. Thank you.